EVE Online, one of the most diverse and complex sci-fi games in the history of online gaming. In Chaos Theory, there is a concept known as sensitive dependence on initial conditions. Some people know this as the butterfly effect, while in EVE, we call it the sandbox, where the actions of one player can throw ripples through the entire galaxy. One realm, one universe, one EVE. Do you have what it takes? Well, let's find out. Hello everybody, welcome to this how to start EVE Online guide. So this guide is going to show you as a new player character, uh, basically where you're going to start from. So the three screens that you're presented with, so when you first start, all these character screens will be blank, and you basically select a character slot. From this screen here, you'll select your character and go into the character, and once you click this uh character screen it will then go into uh, obviously the game so we're going to start afresh today we're going to start in the middle with that one and you are presented with four races so you have the Kaldari, the Galante, the Amarians and the Mimitar. My favorite race is the Amar but for today most most players do start with the Kaldari which is the, the human race of Kaldari origin. So they presented with this nice screen so it gives you a nice bit of a splash of the uh, ships that are in the Kaldari race. You can also click the Galante and have a look. Basically pick which ships that you do like. So the Kaldari are notoriously for hybrid missiles and shield. The, the Galante are for armor tank blasters, weapons and drones. The Amarians deal with energy weapons and uh, basically lasers and armor tank. And the Mimitar are basically ships that look like they're built with junk and they do projectile projectile ammos. So today we're going to choose the Kaldari and it's the Galante as their enemy and the pirate enemy is the Garistas. So we're going to select Kaldari. Then you're presented with uh, different bloodlines, so basically different styles of, of character. So I always like to do the Sivier, which uh, focus on the heavy aggression. So these uh, are the player base, the player part of the race that is for security or the bloodline of security so then we have the character sculpting screen so we can uh, basically change anything to do with our character you can also randomize it change the gender and we can just go from there so we could have a female character if we wanted to uh, is it going to switch female character or a male character you can play about with the ears you can literally click uh, any part of this and you can change different things or you can just randomize so we're just going to randomize a character and then that will that'll do uh, you can do uh, different things like shape uh, complexion you can change the eyes headwear makeup you can basically pretty much do anything to uh, adjust the the character as you see fit and you also have a history tab down here where you can go backwards and forwards and change things as you need to so we'll click next and then uh, you've got your character portrait so you can do uh, character portrait images uh, you actually do that in this section here so you zoom in zoom out so character portrait is somewhere where does it say maybe it's the next page you can do the character portrait somewhere so we'll click next it might be afterwards uh, and then obviously there's our character now and then we've got three educations so the first one uh, is state war academy so that is if we're going to be a security character uh, exploration character so our skills will be finely tuned finely tuned initially for exploration and then we've got industry where we'll get some industry skills so we're going to do security uh, because we're going to cover doing the career agents for the security and we'll do that initially and then we'll go on to exploration and things like that so if you've chosen a name you can click randomize uh, and we'll just randomize until we find something cool that we like uh, who should we have 
Keep going. Oh, I've got, I've got to wait 45 seconds. 43 seconds. Okay. So, we'll go with that. Uka, Arj... Arj... I'm terrible with character names, you know. Um, so, let's go for Eagle Firefly. Firefly. YT. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Let's do that. Uh, enter game. Uh, so it says, would you like to begin your journey with the tutorial? So in this instance, we're going to do the new player experience together. So we'll click yes. And then we get some cool animations. So enjoy and sit back. Brimming with possibility and rife with adventure. Only the most intrepid capsuleers can conquer its many wonders. Do you have what it takes to become one with the machine? To explore the far reaches of space? Carving out a name for yourself among the stars. To become a titan of industry. Amassing wealth, power, and prestige as you rise above your rivals. Or to prove your worth in combat. Cementing new alliances and vanquishing your foes on your path to glory. For the rare few, immortality awaits. With Air's Capsuleer Training Program, you become the architect of your own destiny. Pretty cool, huh? Gotta love the cinematics in this game. Here we go. I am Aura, Captain, this is Aura. Companion. We like Aura. I am here to help you find your way through New Eden. Welcome to the first day of your new life as a Capsule. Look at that. I am now transferring your pod into a ship provided by air as part of your Capsule. <gasps> oh no. What's happened there? I haven't done this MPE, by the way. Uh oh. Go, Pod, go! Go, Pod, go! Oh, man. We're going to get podded for the first time. Oh, did we make it? Whoa, look at that! We made it! Did we make it? Oh, man. Well, that went well, didn't it? Captain, oh. this cloning facility was attacked before your capsule could be inserted oh, into a no. ship. I initiated our evacuation sequence before we reached the hangar to avoid certain death. No need to thank you. Well, we'll thank you anyway. This baptism by fire is certainly not what Air had planned for your first day in a pod. Rest assured, I am here to help. Oh, no. That's I'm unable news. to identify our attackers, but they are not currently targeting our capsule. This gives us time to locate a ship. Right, we need a ship. Your pod may be able to fly through space, but, like all capsules, it is unarmed. Now, let's get a better oh. look at our surroundings. Whoa, something coming in. Is it going to hit us? No. Scroll ah, in, scroll out. There is a ship still capable of flight. Where, where, where? Astero, no less. Ah, I love some of that. Ship, indeed. Wait, I'm moving. And I probably shouldn't be. Click this ship. I have highlighted the navigation section of your display. Use it to approach the ship. Approach. Board the Astero now. Hey, this is cool. I like this. Board ship. Oh. All oh, right, that's cool. How cool is that? God, I love this. Our shields took such a powerful ship. In the attack. Next the armor is also in need of repair. Okay, so we have. I will fill in the gaps here. So this is your ship uh, that you get for the first 
um, ship of the, well, the new player experience. So it's going to go through the UI here. So in this symbol down here, this is our, uh, basically, our ship. Um, and you've got shield, armor, and hull. Okay, so you can see there, shield, armor, and hull. So it's saying that our armor is in need of repair. For this situation is we're screwed. Yep, definitely. It pretty much looks like we're screwed. But we've got an Astero, so we're all good. Fortunately, the cavalry has arrived. Woohoo! Ships bearing air transponders are approaching our location. Nice. Where? Ah, there they are. It's the good people. What's going to go on here, then? Are we going to get repaired? This could be our first uh, Lodgy experience. This is Balin Ferris, Commander of Air Security. All ships evacuating this cloning facility are advised to rendezvous at emergency coordinates. Okay. Captain, your vessel looks like it's seen better days. Well, I'll repair you once you're in range. It's our dreadful days, hasn't it? Uh, right, so we're going to click this, and we're going to click Approach. Uh, Balin Ferris. Commander Ferris, were you able to determine the identity of our attackers? Negative aura. Their transponders were cloaked and their hulls lacked any identifying information. Oh no. I'd wager this was an act of hey, we're getting some armor now. There are a lot of people in New Eden who want to get their hands on Ed's technology, whatever the cost. We need screen Thanks to shot. Commander Ferris. Are you gonna let us? Uh print screen for the thumbnail. <laughs> Thanks to Commander Ferris's repairs, our ship is almost as good as new. At his command, we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. Yep, let's do that. <laughs> All ships enter warp formation. Oh, look, so we've got Nesters. Are we going to follow these people? Orca. Flying a nice formation. Oh, we're going with them. Woohoo! We're off. Oh, did we leave them behind? Or are they going to drop out of warp behind us? No way. This is beautiful, isn't it? I love this. They're going to come out of warp. Here they come. Ready. Doosh. We've now arrived at Air's designated emergency evacuation zone. We'll be safe here while we regroup. A spot well chosen. This location's cosmic abnormalities will mask our warp signatures from detection. But awesome. our appreciation of New Eden's natural wonders will have to wait. Okay. Captain, I could use your help. My sensors are picking up a strange signal nearby, but my forces are stretched thin defending the civilian fleet. This one? Is it? We'll find out. The cosmic storm likes to play with our sensors, so it could be nothing. But after that attack, I'm not taking any chances. Approach the signal source. Your display. Yep, that's it. And then we can press look at. Ooh. Wonder what that is. Initiating scan of unidentified signal. Okay, that's good. Captain? Hostiles inbound. <gasps> We're gonna weapons. Where's our weapons? What are we gonna do now? We have to defend those unarmed civilian transports. Uh, how? For combat, form up around me. Well, that's not ours, is it? We want to know. Orbit. Okay. We don't have any weapons though. My sensors indicate <sighs> the same ship that attacked the cloning facility. Uh oh. They're shooting. Yep, they're shooting. Several frigates are breaking away from the pack. They're targeting those civilian ships. Oh no! This will be your first combat experience. Excellent. Shoot. Let me. I want to shoot. Orbit the frigate first. Orbit the frigate first. Orbit. We're too far away, Captain. <gasps> we got guns now. Thankfully, our ship is equipped with a module that will boost our speed. Okay. Activate I hope you're taking all this in, by the way. On your display. My database of ancient idioms contains... Afterburner. So here we've got 
high slots, medium slots, and low slots. So here we've got lots of ships that we have to kill. We're now within range. So he wants lock us to lock this frigate. Lock target. You can actually press control and lock. Target lock confirmed. Left click. Time to hit them where it hurts. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do this. Approach. Fire. Look at that. Melting. It's going down. It's going down. We web it. It's going down even more now because we're going to web it. Orbit the enemy. Okay. You the boss. Well done, Captain. Oh, get out! We got now our first kill! Boom. Fire on the remaining hostiles. Okay. Why do we have to orbit? We don't have to orbit. Okay, so this web of fire here slows them down uh, within 10 kilometers. Uh, we're going to press control and left click and lock the other one. I like this UI for the new player experience. I think that's really good. I'm impressed with that. We need to see more of this. Approach that. Are we winning? I think we're winning. Orbit though. Let's web it. Use the web of fire, slow it down. The Astero is not a ship to be underestimated. Look at all that. Marvelously done, Captain. Oh, marvelously Combat done. That can be such a glorious experience. Especially when you're winning. Yep, we are winning. Another hostile ship incoming. A uh -oh. cruiser this time. Oh no, it's a bit it's big, isn't it? And better armed than those frigates. What an exhilarating way to test your combat ability. I'd say so. Let's do this. Lock that up. Go in. Where is it? What's our range? So if you hover over these modules here, it will give you the range. Uh, so where our fall off is within 4,680. So we're going to orbit because it's set at 1,250. Fire that and fire that. And then we'll web them as well. Slow them down. Look at that, how they slowed down. Visually slowed down them. The Astero is going to take down that cruiser now. Just love the graphics of this game. They've done such a good job, CCP. It really is an amazing game. And for me, I've been playing this game since... 2010, maybe? Uh, I've seen... A lot of stuff. I've seen people come and go, and the game is just still absolutely amazing for me. It still gives me a rush, uh, all the way down from even you know low level missions, all the way through to PvP faction warfare. I'm not the best at PvP, but I'm learning. Um, even still now, I think you're always learning in this game, and there's job, always Captain. something to know. Yes, yeah, so we got it. We got this. We got potential. Look at that. It's Shit. Like a shining star. Breaking away from the enemy fleet. Oh, we swore then. Transport from warping away. Watch your six, Captain. They're Must be bad. Badder than anything you fought before. So what have we got to do now, Captain, then? Captain, we can use electronic countermeasures, ECM, to break the battleship's lock on the Go civilian transport. Good idea, Aura. Doing so means the battleship will be able to target only one thing. Us. So, right. So, we're going to do this. ECM. Did we get it? Successful jam. Next. There is no other way to save those civilians. They are not capsuleers like you. Their deaths will be final. Oh, Yours no. Yours will be a learning experience. A learning experience. And that is true. Uh, 100%. Uh, you learn by uh, losing your ship in this game. So, that is 100% true. Orbit the enemy. Once we deploy the ECM, the battleship will begin firing upon us. Remember, oh. you will have a friend. That's it. That's it. We done it. Yes. Done good, Captain. Done good. Hell yeah. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna do this. Oh no! <gasps> hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Once our ship is destroyed, uh, the pod will soon follow. What do we do now? According to my calculations, no. destruction is ninety nine point nine nine percent certain. Oh, there's a slim chance then. Have we had it? Oh, this is like me doing my solo PvP. Ninety nine point nine percent. These pinned down. Come on. <gasps> oh no. Wait, are we supposed to be going towards this fella? You fought well today, Captain. Oh no! This is a warrior's death. Are we going? Luckily for you, it will not be your last. Oh no! Oh, that's marvellous, isn't it? That. Oh, pod as well. Wait. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. You are a capsilian. You'll see that quite are often. You? Death is not an end. <laughs> It is simply the beginning it's, of a new adventure. It is, that is very true. As always, <laughs> I will see you on the other side. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I really enjoyed that. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's really cool. Welcome back to the world of the living, Captain. I hope your death was not too uncomfortable. Nah, it was easy. Your new Brush it off. has been transferred to a fresh clone body. But before you stretch your new legs, someone very important would like to meet you. Oh, who's that? Allow me to introduce myself. Hello. I'm Vesper Calatrix, Air's Vice President of Operations. Commander Ferris spoke highly of your courage under fire. You went out with quite the bang. Quite a bang. Since your ship was destroyed in a blaze of glory, Air would like to provide you with a new... Ah, uh, yeah, that legend. I will enable your station services panel so that you may board the ship provided to you by Air. Thanks. Next. Try not to blow this one up so quickly. <laughs> Can't guarantee it. You can acquire a new Corvette at any station. I will enable your Oops. station services oh. panel so that you may board. Look at that. A shiny new Ibis. Less explosive. We have a lead on who attacked the cloning facility, and we want you to follow up on it. Considering your recent experience, you're the perfect sent pilot. Sent you a for module the job. that will help. I've sent you a module that will help you on the next leg of your journey. Awesome. Captain. You Ooh. can access objects currently stored at the station at which you are now. Let's take a look at the module. A mining laser upgrade. Yeah, this is what Curious we want. Choice, Miss Calatrix. How will a mining module help our investigation? Well, it might. One of our agents in the field has intercepted a strange signal at one of our mining sites, but we're having trouble locating its source. We want you to investigate the signal. But if we're being watched, and I suspect we are, we don't want anyone to know we're on to them. Okay. You'll look just like another member of the mining fleet. Cool. Duly noted, Miss Calatrix. Captain, you can fit the module to your ship so, by accessing the fitting window from the Neocom. So, as Aura says, so if you look on the left-hand side, uh, I'm not too sure how much she'll go into this. So, obviously, you've got the agency tab, and the agency tab gives you all your uh, activity information. So you have agents and missions, so you can look at mission agents, epic arcs, which is the storyline. We can't do that yet. The storylines, the agent finders, and career agents. The career agents we're going to focus on quite heavily. Uh, encounters are for a little bit later on. Uh, some people jump straight into Abyssal Dead Space, uh, but I think uh, it's good to learn the game before you start jumping into there. Uh, exploration so obviously these are all the things that you you, you can do in the game Re resource harvesting so it will give you uh, some information as to where you can find uh, all your mining things and then uh, a fleet up section where you can do some public fleets so what does the what she wants us to do so fitting window fit your new module in a free slot so it wants us to fit it in there now bring the module online I can't because I don't have the it skills. Do not currently possess the there we go, one step ahead. Hardly surprising. You still have much to learn. So what does she want us to Please do? Direct your attention oh, we've got three skill points. Look at that. that I have highlighted for you. Uh, skill catalog. So it wants. So hover your mouse over the warning icon in the fitting window. So there, it you tells you which skills you need. Your training queue here. Are essential for all Cassiliers in the of Eden. As training a new skill takes time, as the neural pathways of your brain are prepared. The complexity of this rewiring can be measured through skill points. You have a skill point to the Do so now. 
click this one down here. No. Apply All skill points. Is confirm that you wish to use those, the training confirm. I should point out that you can train skills while doing other things. It's a good strategy to always have something training. I guarantee other capsuleers will be doing just that. Absolutely. We want you to fall behind your peers, would we? So we'll go through that. To that and... end, I've sent the air skill plan to your AI. Oh, okay. Normally, you would have received it as part of your capsuleer training program starter package, but your training was violently disrupted, to say the least. Okay, so skill plans. Oh, right, okay, so the air skill plan. So if you click that... As Calatrix's advice is sound, you should always have a skill in training. Let's start with this new one. And may it be the first of many. So it wants us to train repair systems one and two. So we'll click that and add those. The stronger you'll be. As you continue to grow as a capsuleer, you can adjust your skill acquisition to achieve your desired goals. Now close the windows crowding your screen. Good idea. Let us online your mining laser upgrade. Oh, we can turn it on. Turn the module online. Well done, Captain. Yeah, look at that. We got this. The fitting window. With one Eve. Looks like you're ready to roll, Captain. Our oh, agent yeah. will rendezvous with you at the mine. Let's go. Undock. Uh, you also have uh, the map here uh, where you can navigate to where you'll go. We'll touch on that as well again soon. Oh. And also. All right, so that is the start of the new player experience of how to get into EVE Online. Over the next course of videos coming up, I will go through some new player guides. So we'll talk about guns, missiles, ship fittings, and all sorts of good stuff. Uh, so please subscribe, please stay tuned. Everything that we do here will be done as an alpha character. So everything will be done for free, uh, and we'll build this character up together from ground zero all right so thank you for watching and i shall see you soon